Welcome to Electron Online. In this video and many videos to come, we're going to learn how to graph polynomials and rational functions. That's where we have one function divided by another function, and so therefore we have to deal with asymptotes and things like that. But before we get there, let's talk about some basic principles of graphing, and let's start with a very easy one, y equals x squared. So if we're going to graph y equals x squared, that is a parabola, that is a second order equation, and it looks like this, and it has the vertex right at the origin. So that's a very simple graph. If we now place a negative in front of it, and this is also, of course, true for any polynomial, the leading term right here, if we put a negative in front of it, it turns the whole polynomial over, the graph over, and so the graph will now look like this, still with the vertex at the origin, but simply turned over like that. If we take the original function, y equals x squared, and we add a constant to it, it simply raises the graph by that constant. So if we add plus 1, it simply raises it up by 1. If we add plus 2, it raises up by 2. So in this case, we find y equals 1, and now the new parabola will look like this with the vertex at y equals 1. So it simply takes the function and raises it up by 1. If we have a negative constant right here, it simply lowers the function by 1. So we go to y equals negative 1, and our function now will look like this with the vertex right there at y equals negative 1. So now if we grab a function like this where we have plus or minus a constant but that is now inside parentheses and the whole thing is squared like this, this is still a parabola, so if we graph it, it looks like a parabola, but this will cause the, the graph of the parabola to either move to the right or move to the left. If we subtract a constant, it makes it move to the right. If we add a constant, it makes it move to the left. In this case, it will make it move to the right by one unit, so we, let, we find x equals 1 right here, and so our parabola will now look like this. The whole thing moved over to the right by 1. And then if, it's, uh, if we add a constant like that, that means we take the whole parabola, the graph of the parabola, move it to the left, so it will be at minus 1, and the function will look like this. So again, we add a constant, it will raise it by 1 or lower it by 1, well, by that constant, whatever the value of the constant is. And in the case of adding subtracting like this, where we have the whole thing in parentheses squared like that, it will make it move to the right if it's subtracted, and it will make it move to the left when it's added. So those are the basic principles. Those principles hold true for any kind of graphing, for any kind of polynomial. So hang on to those, remember those, and as we move on, we'll definitely be using these all the time, and we're expected to know these just like that. So stay tuned if you like this kind of thing, and, or you might not like it, but you need to know it for your class. So therefore, stay tuned and see what, we, what else we have in store.